This video is brought to you thanks to Squarespace. Squarespace is the virtual home of my website, my art portfolio, and online shop. You can present your work with Squarespace professional portfolio designs with beautiful customizable galleries and automatic image scaling to showcase your artwork in the best way. Connect your art portfolio and online shop with just one click. Thanks to their marketing tools and their on-point analytics, this platform helps you optimize your business while having a beautiful online presence. If you're ready to showcase your latest projects, make sure to head to squarespace.com to try them for free. And once you're ready to launch, use the code CAROARÉVALO to get 10% of your first purchase of a website or domain. Today is packing all the shop orders day and it's actually packing all the shop orders part three. <laughs> this is our third day packing everything and I've already shipped and packed all the Patreon rewards for December but I wanted to share because so far this is my favorite combo. So for the sticker I have a Mama Jaguar sticker this one was made completely digitally using procreate i really need to fix my lens because it's not working completely <laughs> so this is a sticker for patreon's december reward it was all made in procreate digitally Mama Jaguar energy all the way. And then for the postcard, I did Mama Cacao. I have a cacao art postcard. And this one, first I did a watercolor, which you might remember. Uh, I shared these on a blog, maybe in between like February and April. And I did some digital adjustments in Procreate. This one's made in 100% recycled paper. Here we have a cacao flower, more of like a symmetric study. Cacao beans, a cacao pot, a teeny tiny flower. This one here looks like it's, you know. And then we have the leaves, the open cacao pot and closed pots. This one is a pot just cut in half. I love how this one came out. Here's the postcard background. This might be one of my favorite um, postcards so far. Also, it's cacao, so of course. And then we have the Patreon print, which is based from a gouache and watercolor painting I did back in 2019, I believe. And this was such a simple but fun painting to work on. Uh, it was one of the first... It was one of the first paintings that I did with nature, but without actually doing a study from a specific plant or specific fungi. I just decided to play around and do an anonymous plant and an anonymous mushroom. And this is what I came out with. There's a plant in the middle. There's a plant in the middle. The mushrooms and the roots with some free flow drawings with my signature dots and eyes. And I don't know if you can see in the camera, but the background is actually like a very lila, like a light, purple liliac color <laughs> um, and for these ones I love them individually but I also love the three of them together I feel they 
are completely jungle vibes. And then today we are packing all things from the shop uh, sale. I closed my shop a week ago and we've been printing, cutting, packing, getting all the art supplies ready. Not the art, the shipping supplies ready. And today is day number three of packing. I'm going to, yeah, why don't I, I will be packing a little and then showing you some of the artwork. So quickly, let me show you some of the artwork. We have the Asco Micota Fungi print. First I'll show you the prints, then I'll show you the originals, which are already bought, which found their home. This one is All According to the Stars. That's the name of the artwork. Then we have Full Bloom. These are 12 by 12 cliche prints. Here's a tiny one, Farmlands. A panther gave me the light based on the visualization from the four rituals around creativity. This is the painting that I did based on a visualization journey that is part of rituals around creativity, my online course. And that visualization was guided by Vivian Arias. These are the medicinal plants. We have coffee here. I'm actually currently listening to Michael Pollan's This Is Your Mind in Plants book. Here's Ginkgo Biloba. The colors look funny on the screen for some reason. I feel they look so much better IRL. Turmeric. My favorite, Blue Lotus. Mama Blue Lotus. Calendula, also known as marigold, as far as I know, they are the same plant. And cacao, the aroma in cacao. And there's a lot of stuff, so sorry. Here we have the sticker sheet. This is the Friends sticker sheet. And Fungi Wisdom and Plants Magic sheet. Okay, let's see if that fixed. Yeah, this definitely fixed the colors. Plant magic and fungi wisdom. This is the other sticker sheet that I got made. These are my new postcards. And Now, let me show you the other table. <laughs> so many offerings. Here we have more prints. Yep, Nature's Crest. Rosemary. Too, which I've actually already showed you in a video that I published in November about my shop update. This one is based on a sketchbook artwork. 
Bria line also from my sketchbook. This is a cliche print based on this watercolor and gouache painting I did in my sketchbook. <laughs> and then we have Symbiosis. This is based on the artwork that I did for my yoga mats. And I did a cliche print version of it. And last two, I'm just showing you all the new artwork that I'm packing from my shop. There's a few orders from work from previous years. This is Debes Ir a la Selva. This one was made from the visualization class also taught by Viv, but this one for Rituales para Crear, which is the Spanish version from my course. And right now I'm only showing you the new stuff because this is the first year that I have done a shop update with so much new art. In the past two, maybe three years, the only new thing that I've included in my web shop uh, has been the moon calendar and besides that I've done like one new print but this time I just got so much more ready. This is 2022's moon calendar featuring all the fungi friends, some plants, planets, there's the sun, euglena, antioxidant and just so many friends. Now, I swear this is the last that I will be talking and sharing out loud the rest will. This is the original that I that found their homes. This is one of my favorites. This is typewriter growing and gold leaf. I love the shimmer of these gold leaf, how it changes depending on how the sun hits. This one is from my friend Esmeralda. This was a commission piece from last year and I'm finally sending it to Esme. Esmeralda teaches the uh, dreams as messengers class from the course. Then we have a whispered prayer the original full bloom the original it's like this is the remix this is the original aloe vera the original blue lotus the original I actually love this one very much. I would have kept it. Turmeric, the original. Café Arabica, coffee plant, the original. And that's about it. Now I will start packing and Evo is packing orders with me. Let me show you. These are all the handwritten thank you notes. And it's time to start packing. If not, I, I just won't pack. I share all of these because there is so much more than goes towards making art besides making art, like taking the pictures and answering the emails and uh, putting all the inventory in the shop and packing the orders and making the shipping labels and going to the post office and promoting your artwork and doing the marketing and in my case doing videos about it and um, answering all the emails which I already said but that's a lot of time 
and answering to the DMs and making Instagram stories and all the things. So I feel I've been very focused on building that structure the past few years. So I am very happy and, and happy that I have finally started shifting into more of the art making and being able to offer art and having a shop update like this one really makes me feel very proud of myself from bringing things from the inner world to the physical and then to a shop and then shipping it around the world. It's more than I could have ever imagined being able to do. And I'm already like daydreaming of all the new things that I want to offer. Like there's just one fungi painting in my shop right now. I cannot wait to finish that one there and making more paintings with the mushrooms, but it all takes time. And I feel I'm learning so much about patience and about the importance of doing it one thing at a time. Um, but yeah, we're going to Peru next week and I want to just leave everything shipped at the post office with time, get a few days to pack to clean the house. Um, and I'll stop talking and start packing. This here is the last order that I'm packing and sending from my shop update. Besides the orders that I'm taking with me to Peru. But this one is the last one that I'm packing and then we're taking everything to the post office tomorrow. It's been like five or six days of packing non-stop. <laughs> and this is a very special order. Leah, if you're watching this, thank you for your support. Leah lives in Australia and Australia border is closed right now so I'm not able to ship to Australia but Leah paid a crazy amount of money to FedEx to have this shipped um, because FedEx has the ability to go to Australia right now and I just cannot believe that she wants my art so bad but I am so excited for this package and it's full of amazing goodies so let's pack this together and then I need to eat and sleep. <laughs> Hi friends, it is Monday and it's been five very intense days of packing non-stop, but we are finished. It's all packed. Um, I've actually never had so many orders at my art shop at the same time. It's been crazy amazing and also crazy tiring, but I cannot get my head around the fact that we got so many orders and that 
All of these are going to some part of the world to your hands. Um, hopefully everyone who ordered will really love their art. And I also, it just blows my mind that uh, these art pieces are, can go to places that I've never been. And that feels like it, I don't know, it's just amazing. Uh, y que mas? I'm just very, very happy. This morning I've been putting all the please don't bend notes on the envelopes. And now I'm dropping everything off at the post office. We are traveling back home to Peru in four days on Friday. Um, and I'm trying to leave as many things ready as I can this next few days before leaving. I'm filming the intro to Rituales para Crear, my course in Spanish, and then just editing. We've been editing the course since the beginning of the year, but there's still some tweaks to do. And it's also time to see all the videos before uh, releasing the website and the pre-sale and all of that. I'm very excited because a uh, course in Spanish has been on my mind since I did the one in English and it finally came together and I am just so happy for these. This is just crazy for me. <laughs> gracias, gracias de verdad.
So yesterday we packed 83 yoga mats. That's as many mats as were sold in the yoga mat pre-sale that I did two months ago. And we're done packing, but they slept in these towers and we realized that the tape that we've used to close the boxes has opened in a bunch of them. So eco-friendly tape didn't do it this time. So we just went to uh, Lowe's and got some regular packing tape and we will be re-taping all of them. Also, we paid a visit to UPS to see, I've been in contact with the manager at my local UPS and they offered like a special price being a small business and that I could just leave them at and they would be in charge of the shipping labels, but I haven't heard back from them in a week because we're ready to drop off. We paid them a visit and the manager wasn't there. So we will be going in a few hours again, seeing if I'll end up shipping with UPS. If not, I already made my FedEx small business account, um, trying to figure that out. It's a whole new world. I could also just ship through the regular post office, which is what I usually do. But regarding VAT, even though my website already says, and there's the policy that I am not in charge of VAT. I know that um, it would be more likely for UPS and FedEx not to charge VAT while the regular post office might. So just trying to figure it all out. We leave, to, we leave for Peru in two days and we haven't even started making our bags. I thought I was going to release my Spanish course, Rituales para Crear, on four days, but I think that won't happen because it's just too much at the same time. But, you know, um, I love that whenever something like, oh, the tape is not working happens, is okay, what's the solution? What's the solution? What's the solution? Instead of being like, fuck, nothing works out. It's more like, okay, another one, another one. Okay, if UPS doesn't work, let's go to FedEx. If FedEx doesn't work, let's do these, let's do that. And just like knocking doors and seeing how to make things happen and change whenever the plan is changing. Um, I was just talking to my friend Jess and we were chatting about how the more we, you know, tap into our own force and meditate and do yoga and drink cacao and do all these external things, they are nourishing our inner worlds and I feel they are also all the time being like, I am more aware of how am I bringing what I feel on the inside to be part of my physical actions every single day. So now like we've been packing more than 500 orders in between yoga mats and Patreon and shop update. And I know that back in the day, I would have been like not eating and not um, sleeping and completely stressed all the time. But now I'm coming more from a, I want to do this and be harmonized at the same time. So. How am I balancing that? Well, I'm not doing the 5 a.m. club. I'm not waking up at 5 a.m. I'm sleeping up until eight because I need the rest and I need to eat way more than I usually do. So we've been eating delicious nourishing foods these past weeks and paying attention to, I am not a working machine. I am a human being with so much value just for existing. So how am I really like filling my cup as a human while I'm doing all this work as a, you know, small business owner. And we are leaving our little angel in two days, but we have our friend Pao staying with Leela and the plants while we're gone. And Pao loves Leela and we love Pao. So that's gonna be great. Okay, I'll stop talking and start repacking this and then going to the post office and today our friend Francois cooked a delicious stew for us which smells amazing I wish you could just like scratch the screen and smell it um, so we're also gonna eat that and I'm drinking a matcha just to you know treat myself oh and I also got this delicious vegan homemade pop tart 
vegan homemade pop tart filled with pear and cardamom and with a matcha rose glaze on top from our local coffee shop. is everything for today's video thank you for following along these footage that you've seen today were the first two weeks of December we had never received so many orders we had never packed so much so fast and it was actually uh, so hectic that I didn't film as much as I wished I would have I didn't film when the yoga mats arrived or where the yoga mark boxes arrived I didn't even film packing any of the Patreon uh, rewards but that's what happens when we are doing so many things. So I still hope this footage was entertaining and nice. Thank you to everyone who ordered from my shop. I still think it's crazy and I don't understand that there's people from around the world that want to buy and have my art in their homes or gift my art as presents for the people they love. It's I haven't put like one and one together so thank you so much for that support um, and thank you for sticking up until the end of this video if you like what you see on this channel feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos um, also thanks again to Squarespace for being the sponsor of this vlog make sure to use the code carevarevalo if you want to uh, get a website or domain with Squarespace also, thank you so much for my Patreons. Thank you for your support, for, um, you know, making me able to take a month off and go to Peru to visit my family. It really means the world to me. And yeah, I hope you're doing well. I will see you on another video pretty soon. I hope this new year is starting great for you. And if it's not, well, I hope we can make something to change that. I'll see you soon. Bye, take care.